Would you accept today ventilating your patient with tidal volumes around 15 milliliters per kilogram? How can you be certain your patient is not put into a harmful situation? The patient was intubated under assisted mechanical ventilation and after extensive trial and error, he was set at 7 ml per kilogram of tidal volume and relatively synchronized with the ventilator. During the night, the physician in charge of the patient decided to increase further the lung protection, decreasing the tidal volume down to 6 ml per kilogram and increasing the respiratory rate a little bit to 30 breaths per minute. What he didn't realize is that due to breath stackings, the patient was receiving a much larger tidal volume, something around 15 ml per kilogram. So instead of receiving a protective ventilation, he was receiving a very harmful mechanical ventilation. Patient ventilator asynchronies are frequent, associated with worse clinical outcomes, longer intensive care unit stay, and mortality. Asynchronies were detected in all patients and in all ventilator modes. ICU staff is able to detect only 21% of the asynchronies. Asynchronies can also occur in clusters. High cumulative duration clusters usually result in longer mechanical ventilation, longer ICU stay, and shorter survivability. Enlight identifies patient ventilator asynchronies in real time and tracks the occurrence of clusters, giving caregivers immediate feedback of how the patient is responding to the interventions. Breath stack cycles caused by double and reverse triggers are highlighted, and stack volumes are quantified automatically at the bedside. Counterintuitively, when the physician started to decrease the tidal volume to 6 ml per kilogram, and the physician didn't realize this, the patient started to present many cycles with reverse triggering, and this reverse triggering was causing many cycles with breath stacking with an effective tidal volume of 15 ml per kilogram. The intervention didn't work as planned, and we could determine the reason and solve it. Sometimes you think you are protecting your patient's lung, but you are not. Are you sure that your patient is really receiving the ventilation you've planned? In light, now you can see, now you can solve. <laughs>